<laughs> hello, Lola's. I been watching too much of the Queen of the South. I almost said hello, cockroaches. <laughs> oh my God, that's why you don't need to be watching TV like that. What are y'all doing today? I am about to do his hair. I don't know how I'm finna do this with him sitting this high up. Cause baby, listen. I've been needing to do this boy hair for so long. I am horrible at doing hair. Oh gosh, and he's sliding. Come on, Puka. <sighs> All right. So I always, as you guys may or may not know, I have four girls and one boy, um, human kids. And um, I always sent my girls even all the way down to the last baby, which is Gabby, um, to the hair salon or to someone to braid their hair for me because I never have been good at it. Now, I did used to do with the older girls, I used to do this twist thing where I would just put a whole bunch of like small rubber bands colorful ones or clackers and um I would um put it in put the hair in twists because it it just I don't know it lasted longer and it was really cute on them so I would do that that's the only style really I knew how to do other than you know the typical three or two I don't like that two or three ponytails he does not he 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 don't be here for this um so y'all know the story what what I'm gonna say y'all know I've been busy <laughs> I've been busy um man I'm so I'm like I'm so thankful I'm like thank you Jesus and I mean that <laughs> from everything up in me I feel so much better. Um, yesterday, I had a slight. I started out with a slight headache, and then it progressed to a throbbing headache, to an unbearable pain. But I worked all day, my full time job, and I painted like um, I painted like a fool up in this bleep. But um, yeah, I I had. I had a good painting day yesterday. So, um, once I started feeling to the point where I couldn't, I, I, I just, I couldn't go no further. I laid it down and, um, yeah. Cause it was like, it got to a point where it was like just water just coming out, instant tears just coming out like one of my eye. Like, not both of the eyes, but just one of my eyes. And, um, it was, I, I don't know, but my eyes was burning and all that stuff. So, anyway, um, I took me some medicine eventually. Because I, I hate taking medicine. But I went ahead and took some medicine because, like I said, it got unbearable. So, I didn't have no choice. So, I went ahead and took some medicine. And, yeah, child. So, anyway. But I am going to be doing a couple videos. I'm going to be giving some information about the prototypes and um, the not so much about the prototypes. Child, why did I say that? It's going to be about the kits, not about the prototypes. Um, the uh, Abby and Aspen. Um, some of you guys may already be aware that the pre orders are coming up. Um, next week of course i'm gonna do an official video um just to let you guys know but those that already like um subscribe to claire taylor's mailing list have already seen the them on the website the price amount um which i'll tell you guys now but like i said i am just be prepared there will be another video where i will give out information on um you know my prototypes if they're going to be sold, et cetera, et cetera, or, um, you know, if they, if they are going to be available, I should say, et cetera, et cetera. Um, 
but the uh pricing um of the kits is $127.99 I'm pretty sure but um I'll give that specific information in another video but like I said that's why I like being part of different sculptors mailing lists and follow them closely on their their social medias because I always get emails even when I'm just so busy that I'm not checking for it that email comes and I I'm like oh okay so you know luckily this time I am a pro one of the prototype artists so I you know I I got the information firsthand but um normally that's not the case and I like to get the information so that's the the benefit of following people mailing lists um but what was I saying where was I going with that I was going to tell y'all something um but yeah so that's exciting that's something that's exciting coming up we we got a couple pre-orders that um that I am definitely excited about um so you know I always say you know, my main thing, just like I, you know, with Cody, with Cody Bear by Laura to Ross, I said, you know, it's always good when you buy directly from the artist, the sculptor, so that they can get the full benefit of their work. So, um, I'm definitely, um, one of those people that normally do that. Um, I try to do it, especially if it's not, they're not overseas. Now, if they're overseas. Sometimes I I usually go ahead and order from um, you know a local dealer, but my thing is um, my thing is I kind of um, sometimes sometimes I actually wish I had um. I wish I had ordered directly from the sculptor. Um, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter um, if you can't, you know, if you can only order from one of your local dealers, that's one thing. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely, um, I think that's important, especially with today's world. You know, a lot of people are trying to you know survive and it's just you know the smaller companies and most sculptors and artists are considered small business versus the big you know the giants of the industry like um bountiful baby they're a whole big warehouse you know what i mean versus you know the regular just small uh sculptors and when I say small, not by their talent, but by their size and whatever you want to call it, child. Ain't nobody got time to be trying to be, get this right. Because y'all, I can't concentrate on two things at one time. Boy, if you don't sit your dog on head still, that's what I be saying. This be getting on my, that's what, see what I'm talking about? Why can't he just lean his phoenix? He's so small. When I tell y'all. I, and it's a shame because the poor baby ain't got nothing about four outfits. But <laughs> I'ma do better with my with my toddler thing. I'ma I'ma do better. Cause when I go places and I know how people it you know it's funny because people be like, you know, um the toddlers have so much to wear and you know they put on and all that and stuff. And you know the dress and stuff and they fun to dress but it's funny because my toddler don't have the least amount of clothes so i'm gonna really take my time and really shop for him because he really needs some clothes he really really do and i bought him some he got some stuff and he do got some stuff that he haven't wore yet that's kind of that's new but it's like little pe like pieces of stuff like shirts you know pants but you know like not matching sets really so i'm that's gonna be my next thing guys is i'm gonna do a haul i'm gonna do a shop shopping little shopping spree for him and then i'll do a toddler haul for you guys if you guys let me know in the comment section if you guys 
would like to see a toddler haul for Phoenix. Um, he is definitely my all-time favorite baby. He is a forever baby for me. Um, <laughs> I know a couple people have been asking me about him. He got some aunties that really, really love him and want to buy him um, and bring him home to their house. They want to take my baby. Child. But, um, he is not going anywhere. And as you guys know, no shade, no tea. But you can look at him and tell that he has allergies, apparently. And he is not coming to some of y'all houses because he's going to be allergic to a lot of stuff. And then y'all going to be mad because he's going to be sniffling all the time. And I don't want my child to be being beat and abused and not, you know, treated properly because he got allergies. So... Ooh, baby. Come on, come on, come on. That's one of the reasons why he don't stay in here with the other babies, too. Because he's allergic to some of them. I mean, it's that bad. For real. And I, I would have known that he was going to probably suffer from allergies had I known who his daddy was. But, child, you know, things be a little loose. According to Miss Andy. You know, she be talking about that hot pie. But, um, anyway... Meanwhile, back on the ranch. Oh, these little braids. Look at that. They coming through. He going to have a whole little head of plaques. Yes, God. And then we can get him dressed. I'm going out today just so y'all know to update. Oh, boy, do you got dandruff? Um, it was a little lint ball, but it did kind of look like dandruff. I was going to say, child, let me find out you Pinocchio. But um, for some of y'all that, that are waiting on packages from me, I apologize. I'm slow as dirt. Um, okay, dirt might not be that slow because it's, it's, it's okay, that makes sense, but anyway, y'all know what I mean. I'm slow, but I do got everything packed up on my bed. Yes, honey, it's so bad because yesterday I was going to ship, but I was not feeling well, and I had it on my bed. I actually slept with the packages on my on one side of my bed. Child, don't feel bad for me. I was sleeping that little sinkhole anyway. It's you know it's bad when your whole bed got one little my body imprint is inside my bed, my mattress. And it's supposed to be a real expensive mattress said that. Anyway, I know y'all don't care. But um I am gonna ship today um to all the people that had got back to me. I am shipping to them today. And, um, the giveaway baby is 90% done. <laughs> um, even in the midst of everything yesterday, I did do a little something, something to, to the baby. I have made contact with the winner of the giveaway, uh, Gabigail. Um, he just really needs just a little bit more, a little bit more things done to him. And being sealed for the most part, really. But my main focus right now, uh, I'm flower chant lay. I mean, no, no shy, no tight. Is that what we're supposed to say for everything when we get ready to say something that somebody might feel some type of way about it? But I have to take care of my um, paying customers first. And which is my custom order, so I was not. I can work simultaneously with them, so they it doesn't take away from them when I'm working on them. Well, maybe the rooting because I can't be rooting and painting. But um, the baby that the last my last baby, the one that I'm rooting, is was actually my last my very last order that I took. It's just that baby was here before the other one, so. I kind of started on it early but anyway um so i am actually going to uh finish that um i'm finishing up my custom so one of the babies is i want to say he is 75 percent done <laughs> Look at me again, percentages. Like, really, girl, sit down somewhere. What is 75%? So, he still got some more modeling and stuff like that to be done. 
or whatever. I don't know if he, where, he needs something. I can't even remember right now. But as soon as I shut this video off, I'm going to start on him as well. The good thing about the silicone, as I keep mentioning to y'all, is that it takes a long time to cure unless you force cure it. And um, I don't force cure my, my babies. So because it takes so long in between the layers, I have time to work on the other ones. All right. So for those that don't know, this is Phoenix. He is the limb sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Um, and he is painted by me and rooted by sentimental babies, which I told her I'm not giving out her name no more because y'all, y'all help us keep running to her to get y'all babies rooted and y'all causing me problems because I can't even get my baby in no time soon because of y'all. So don't go running to my rooter because I can't stand y'all when y'all do that. Because then not y'all slowing me down, but then it be looking like shady when I don't give credit to her work. And I done told her, I love you, boo. I ain't going to give you credit. I mean, I'm going to give you credit if somebody asks me. I'm not going to take credit for for your rooting. But I'm not going to be uh, marketing you when you keep taking these other orders and not being faithful to me. Because she been being unfaithful to me. I'm going to tell her. She know. <laughs> Girl, what? I, I'm telling y'all, anybody that deal with me know I'm a whole fool. That's one thing about me. Y'all can't take me too serious. Some of y'all help us be taking me too serious. I just like to laugh and play. And I usually have a good working rapport with people. But um, some of y'all just don't like me. And that's just going to be okay. It's going to have to be okay. Sometimes I don't like myself though. Come to think about it. But it happens. Anyway, I guess I ain't going to be able to sit here and do his whole head in this video. Because it's going to be too long. So... I'm going to stop it here, and if y'all want to continue and get through the process, I'm going to start another chatting video, and I'm going to keep on, since I got to sit here anyway, might as well let the camera roll, right, and just talk. All right, drop me a line in the comment section, and make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Y'all help us be slipping on that thumbs up. I need to have, it's every, every view need to be a thumb up. If y'all looking at the video, hit the thumb up. Why y'all be aching, baby? Bye, sis.